Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, the former editor and columnist Kelvin McKenzie is set to leave the Sun newspaper. He was suspended last month after he compared a footballer with a Nigerian grandparent to a gorilla. McKenzie denies that his comments were racist. It comes as the media regulator Ofcom reviews a bid by Rupert Murdoch to take full control of Sky. Yesterday, the regulator heard details of alleged sexual harassment at Fox News, another arm of Mr Murdoch's media empire. Our business editor, Siobhan Kennedy, spoke to Wendy Walsh about her claims and why she thought the takeover should be blocked. Rupert Murdoch's been doing some spring cleaning at his Fox News channel, getting the house in order as regulators here mull his bid to take control of Sky. Three of Fox's top brass removed after a string of sexual harassment allegations. Separately here in the UK, another long-serving acolyte, Kelvin McKenzie, also removed after comments labelled by many as racist. Mr. McKenzie edited The Sun in the 1980s, the height of the paper's influence when it was hugely profitable, but always courted controversy, not least over its inaccurate reporting of the 1989 Hillsborough disaster. Now it's his comparison of the Everton football player Ross Barkley to a gorilla that have seen him off. So, is there a link between the events here at Rupert Murdoch's newspaper headquarters behind me and a scandal at Fox News in the US? Well, Mr Murdoch knows the media regulator Ofcom is just half a mile down the road from here and they're currently trying to decide whether he and Fox are fit and proper to take control of the broadcaster Sky. Having culled their most controversial staff at Fox News in the US, is the company now trying to clean its stable here too, with the departure of Kelvin McKenzie, one of the company's most controversial figures? But what of the timing of Mr. McKenzie's removal the day after the arrival in London of two American women who came to persuade the regulator to block Mr. Murdoch's bid for Sky? Notably, Sky News itself not among the reporters outside. Sex was more associated with marriage. Remember, it was called mm, premarital I, I sex then. It's not with called you. premarital. One of those is a former Fox News contributor, Wendy Walsh, who has alleged sexual harassment by the channel's most successful anchor, Bill O'Reilly. He now sacked from the channel, although he denies any wrongdoing. I say right now, out of woodlock. Miss Walsh told me today she was convinced Mr. McKenzie's suspension was timed to coincide with her appearance just up the road. The one who was fired here in the UK conveniently last night because suddenly we show up in the UK and we're shining the spotlight around here and now they're like, oh, what else can we clean up around? Let's just make the outside of things look clean so that Ofcom will think that we're, we run a good clean business here. I think you need to look at the system you need to look at the corporate culture, not what they've done in the last month to clean up. What have they done in the last two decades? In that period, Miss Walsh and other women have alleged a culture of sexual harassment and bullying inside Fox, covered up by its top executives. Fox News denies the allegations and said it acted quickly to remove both Bill O'Reilly and the network's chief executive, Roger Ailes, when the allegations emerged. I think Ofcom and the British people need to pay close attention to how the Murdochs are running their businesses internationally. Because if you'd like to see the foxification of news here in the UK, it's coming. As for Mr McKenzie, he's not severing all ties to News UK. The company still owns shares in his comparison website. And it's believed he still has his office on one of the executive floors in the News UK building. And let's not forget this, for now, is just a suspension. News UK would not comment on whether he will leave the Sun newspaper for good. But it wouldn't be beyond Mr Murdoch to welcome back Mr McKenzie in some other guise or another in the future, once the dust has settled. Siobhan Kennedy reporting. Well, Kelvin McKenzie's 
Well, departure from the sun brings to an end a turbulent four-decade association with the newspaper in which he has been revered and reviled. The paper is still widely boycotted on Merseyside, where he's notorious for his coverage of the Hillsborough disaster. Our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, has been gauging reaction in Liverpool. Liverpool these days, a global honeypot for international tourism. Everyone's welcome here, except the sun. Kelvin McKenzie's false headlines after Hillsborough, no matter how much he or the Sun apologise, unforgotten, unforgiven. This one woman speaks for so many thousands on Merseyside a generation after the disaster. Did you buy the Sun newspaper? No, certainly not. They lied. They what? lied in print about all lads doing dreadful things at Hillsborough, and I remember Hillsborough, and, and we all knew in this city but that never happened. So as Rupert Murdoch spring cleans his empire, Kelvin McKenzie, the once mighty editor, is now apparently leaving the sun. His career bookended by the false Hillsborough headlines then, Ross Barkley now. In a recent column, he likened Liverpudlians to criminals and the Everton player Ross Barkley, who is mixed race, to a gorilla. Two articles, two football clubs, one city infuriated. From top to bottom, he was supported by the Murdochs, it was their paper, I don't even have Sky Television, it, it, it's simple as that. I think he should have fired him. Why? Because his arrogance, rude, and made racist comments about Liverpool people. They lied and they still, they still disrespect our city. Have you heard today's is that Kelvin McKenzie is leaving the sun? Woo! Woo! Happy days! Yet Kelvin McKenzie was undeniably the successful tabloid editor of his day turning the Sun into a preeminent tabloid voice. The Sun circulation was over four million under Kelvin McKenzie. It was very high, very profitable, very powerful, uh, Britain's biggest selling newspaper, and that gave him clout. It got him noticed, and because he would use very lurid headlines, he would be noticed, and he could set the agenda time after time. He's apologised too fully for his Hillsborough actions and says he too shares the Liverpool fans' anger at the actions taken then and afterwards by South Yorkshire Police. It. It's been an absolute disgrace what the police have done in South Yorkshire this last 27 years. I feel desperate for the families and the people. But Evertonian Steve Kelly, who lost his Liverpool supporting brother at Hillsborough, like so many, simply doesn't believe the apologies given by Kelvin McKenzie and The Sun. The newspaper itself said that it learned lessons from what had gone on in 1989. It apologised. It, uh, profusely for, for the headlines uh, and, and said, you know, they, they tried to ensure that this kind of thing would never happen again. Then he goes and re-employs Kelvin McKenzie, who again disgraces himself and the newspaper. Now McKenzie's gone. Will this city find itself able to forgive the sun? Or is it too late? Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Liverpool.